There may soon be a big traffic shift that could alleviate some congestion along one of the busiest freeways in the state, but it's going to take some getting used to for drivers not familiar with this. The Michigan House has given final approval on carpool lanes or HOV lanes along I-75. Legislation now awaiting Governor Whitmer's signature. We get to Will Jones live tonight after talking with some transportation officials about what this change could mean for commuters. Will? Hey, Devin, we talked to drivers today about carpooling. Your coworker picks you up, riding together, splitting the gas. Maybe that saves you a lot of money. It's also good for the environment, but the drivers we talked to seem to need more convincing on carpooling to work and using those HOV lanes. A stretch of I-75 in Oakland County could soon be home to the first HOV or carpool lanes in Michigan. That's a good idea. Although the legislation now headed to the governor's desk came about due to the I-75 modernization project, it would also pave the way for carpool lanes on new road construction projects moving forward. High occupancy vehicle lanes would apply to two or more people riding in a vehicle. The HOV lanes will be in effect only during peak hours weekdays from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Outside of those windows, the lanes will be open to all drivers. On 75, the HOV lanes are planned from 12 Mile to South Boulevard. An additional travel lane is being built from 8 Mile to 12 Mile. These HOV lanes have been popular in other states for some time. Uh, again, this is kind of our new commitment to modernizing our most heavily used freeways. The Southeast Michigan Council of Governments has been trying to get more people to consider carpooling for decades with Commuter Connect. It's hard for people to try something new, and so every incentive we have is great. For some drivers, carpooling isn't for them, even with designated lanes during peak travel times. You like being in the car by yourself? Yes. Why? Why? Because I pray and everything during that time, so with other people in the car, I can't do that. You got to get your prayers in. So after the governor's signature, the HOV lanes on I-75 could be up and running by the end of October. Devin, back to you. Pretty quick, I think. That's a, a fast turnaround. We'll be watching. All right, Will.